all day. My phone has crashed. I almost got a ticket speeding. Coming back. The officer from the State Highway Patrol was kind enough to overlook that. But I did get a seating or a seat belt violation. I went to my storage unit. They did not put a second lock on it today. So they did that. Wait a minute, I'll be right Because there is a area where you can view Weber Road from the end of our neighborhood. I went to the Indianola informal one through eight building parking lot that is next to that area. And this is what I wrote on. because there are guests over at Patty's sometimes and no vehicle that leads one to believe that they would be parked on Indian Lola. But it makes more sense that instead of on Indian Lola, that they would park in the apartment building parking lot that would back up that way they wouldn't be on a city street they'd be on private property so this is what i wrote down there the car in front of me on the other side of the gas pumps at the VP on 161. The vehicle was there first. And then this car pulled up and the woman in the first car said something about needing $5 for gas as if they knew each other. It was, it was, Odd enough for me to write down, so I did. In fact, I write everything. In fact, I write everything down. Because there's too much shit going on. That if I don't write it down, it would just sound crazy coming out. The reason that I publish it is in the hopes that somebody will uh, stop what's going on from happening. Because my neighbors won't. 
and the person who's writing it isn't interested in, in ending this peacefully. So this is September 1st, and it was the beginning of a new volume of my journal. I wrote down here, crime in progress requires executive branch intervention. Suing known criminals endangers the victim's life and freedom because suspects taken to court would set up or kill to avoid responsibility. There's some more information. Please press pause and read the page. Hmm. I forgot. There's one out over there right now. What is that white line? Isn't that strange? Uh, right here. Hold on. Right here. You see that right there? The reason I say it's strange is because it stops right there. Don't mind me, though, because I know nothing, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. I know more than a lot of people would like me to know. That's why they've done one of two things. Um, discredited me and then stolen the information or <laughs> remove it from the internet. Go on to Robert Milligan, please, on YouTube. And take a look at the first date that the channel was created. And then, when the first video is, got a question for you. I had 90 followers by the date the first video was published. How did I get followers without any content? The answer is, and it would require those 90 people to tell me and let me know. The content's been erased. I didn't erase it. Why would I erase my own evidence? Why would I do that?
I wouldn't. I don't spend all my days and nights filing reports and videotaping what is going on just to have it deleted. That would be crazy. But that's what the police are claiming. Uh. The police paint this disgusting narrative that I'm fucked up. You know where they got that idea from? <laughs> right over there. And she says that the information came from the government did not from an imposter. The police believe he's real or they're pretending. I don't know which. But the fact that they make it so very challenging to get crime reported and block the investigation stage by dismissing all of them as miscellaneous incidents is pretty peculiar. So where does that leave us? Take a look at the top of the window. Do you see those two, now three white dots of light? That's northeast. Right here here and here. Don't those seem a little bright to you? Again. We now have another dot of white over here. Oh my gosh, right there. Do you honestly think that this is normal?
Robert, hey there. Let's see. I'm sorry, man. Oh, that's normal. May I ask what was on your laptop that you wanted to show the President of the United States when he showed up in Washington, D.C.? That's a valid question. First of all, that is what Patty said. The Secret Service said in her 911 transcript. That's different than what I have said. I simply asked for directions to the White House when I was next to a cop car in D.C. And they said, the precinct is right up the road. It's two blocks. Follow us there and we'll give you directions. Once I got there, I showed them the FBI report that I had sent on June 20th, 2019. My first attempt at federal help. I was told that morning using V2K with voices in your head that are actually real, that it would be my last day to live. So I got in the car and I drove without a plan, without a change of clothes, and with as much evidence as I had. They tried to contact the FBI. And I guess they were busy because I had mentioned uh, the White House. Two actual Secret Service members showed up. I talked with them, an African-American and a Latino, for 45 minutes to an hour. They took pictures of all my devices and uh, barcodes. They took pictures of my glossy print pictures because pictures that I would take that were important were disappearing out of my devices. So I tried to preserve the ones that I felt were most important. They took pictures of my journal, which I told them I've been keeping with accurate information since November 22nd, 2018. What is on my computer is this light energy technology. And what's interesting is that all my iCloud has been deleted. It's gone prior to March 2018. It's as if I don't have a Gmail, which is strange because I've had a Gmail account since 1995. And only Apple products. 25 years of data, gone. Why would somebody wipe out somebody else's data like that? It's because I must have had pictures of something, right? I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some coffee.
almost like having a laptop, but not quite. Sorry. Here, bright light. Do you see how the light's not uniform throughout the whole window? And if I go up, an interesting phenomenon happens. Look how bright it is at the bottom. It shouldn't be brighter at the bottom. Are you kidding me? The sky is brighter. Especially close to sunset, right? You see those dots of light? Those dots are not normal.
since it follows me around, I wonder if I stand in front of the doorway. Do you know what you can do for me? Dial 614-869-9706 and see if somebody answers. If you do it now and I'm on camera, And it sounds like me, that means that I'm being impersonated with my own phone because my phone was stolen while I slept last night. My Motorola Edge was stolen about four or five days ago. So six one four eight six nine nine seven zero six. Do you know what the fucking pigs say? Well, he must be the devil because he's talking in two different places. Yeah, that's pig talk. They know who's setting me up. And I don't deserve it because I didn't do anything wrong, early goal. Patty knows that. But she really wants me to move, so she's keeping up the, the hunt for me. So her little minions are going to create and commit crime 
and frame me for it. Pretty fucked up, huh? That's my reality. Because it's actually happening. The pigs in Columbus do what they want to do. They're like little brats. And there's no parent around. Or at least there isn't for me because <laughs> they've used remote neural monitoring. So that means that federal help will not intervene. Therefore, I need the media. But the police have blocked the media. Because they've not just used remote neural monitoring, they've also used a military alien technology. All a true story. So I have to deal with being harassed with the lights, then also getting V2K, so I'm getting sounds. Um, it's invisible light, <laughs> so you can't see it unless it's through a camera. So um, my neighbors have created a delusional reality for me to sickly experience daily.
to harass me so that I move. Oh my God. <laughs> and they won't stop using it. You believe that? Will not stop. And I'm not a part of the Google group, so I can't get my voice further than earshot, which is also being done by design to remove my rights. It's all about removing Rem's rights and fucking him over and screwing up his life, which they've done beautifully. Over nothing I've done wrong or illegal. Isn't that fucked up? I think it is. Here, hold on. Right here. Right there. Take a look. You see that cloudy white on top of the leaf? That's a projection. The thing about this technology is that it does do bright white, but it can also be any color of the visual spectrum. So it can create something that looks real. And the technology is so advanced that you really cannot hardly tell the difference. So the edge of a building can be extended beyond the building and that way perverts that wear pentagrams can be standing and the victim can't see them at all. They're completely blocked. It's a camouflage beyond no comparison. True story. Oh, I got my tooth fixed. You can see it's a little bit of a different color. $2,800. All for a poaching. I was poached.
It's a different color. So well. And the whole bows were sinking in that area. Robert, thank you. Thank you for listening. And thank you for watching. Um, if you take a look the top of the roof what you find is antennas oh. Meanwhile, this is facing uh, east. There's one antenna. And a second antenna. And Fourth antenna. <clears throat> I have a row to television. There are two Roku televisions on the laptop I have. I only own one. care of the water which is running in my toilet there we go take a look at what you find
I'm back. So take a look here. Is my Roku device. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> That's mine. These are two reports. These are two reports with CPD. Um, that actually got report numbers 2300341291 and 2130267993. Neither of these reports is visible to the public. So that helps a police narrative of me being mentally ill. They never investigated anything. The Department of Inspector General uh, got the complaint as soon as they opened in July last year. It's not been 14 fucking months. They have determined police wrongdoing. See how bright that is? Just about one spot. Isn't that odd? Because it's aimed at my eyes. Let me do that again for you. Ready? Here we go.
Here, let me go like that so it's a little easier for you to see. Now I'm facing southeast. Do you see the geometric pattern? Where there should be just leaves. Here, let me give you a closer look. Well, first of all, you can see that the edge is not crisp and clean. That tells you something's going on. Explain to me how the white blinds, which are supposed to be blind slats, are not even with the blind slapped. How's that happening?
scientists would agree with me 100% and would understand my concern. Top scientists. All they do is remove rights. They don't preserve them. They take them away. And that's all.